Today we're looking at how technology has changed in golf equipment over the past couple of decades. We've got old golf balls, and we've got old golf clubs. We're going to compare them to new golf clubs and new golf balls with Jackie today. And we're going to see what TrackMan tells us. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing Minnetonka. A fun test today, we've got old golf clubs and new golf clubs an old golf ball and a new golf ball. So the Ping ISI irons, the professional 90 golf ball, both from 20 plus years ago against Jackie's gamer irons, the T200, and then a Pro V1 golf ball. So lots of differences here, Jackie. Um, what do you think we would see? Because I would imagine huge differences in feel for one, but also the way technology has kind of changed in golf clubs and golf equipment over the last 20 years, I would imagine some performance differences as well. Yeah, I think, you know, obviously the ISIs have steel shafts, so that's number one. I'm mm -hmm. definitely going to feel the difference between, you know, a little bit heavier steel shaft versus my graphite. Uh, but the head itself is, I mean, I would think with mine is going to be softer, going to feel a little yeah. bit more forgiving. Uh, I think that the results are going to show that too. So a little bit more forgiveness mm -hmm. in the new technology. I think with the ball, definitely going to feel different there too. Right. Uh, the new Pro V1 is going to be more forgiving in that regard as well. Probably going to see some differences in spin uh, and height that we're getting out of the ball mm -hmm. as well. And just the performance in general. Um, you know, balls have changed a lot in the last 20 years yeah. for sure. And for good reason, just to help with spin and, and be able to be more consistent, you know, off the tee and around the greens is going to be interesting to see the differences in the numbers for sure. Yeah, because I mean, the Pro V1 was a huge change in the, in the golf ball world, right? Yeah. We had these kind of liquid filled, like the Pro 90. Then you add, you know, the Pro V1, which had that urethane cover. It had, you know, an extra layer in there, um, solid layer. So it's a completely different feeling golf ball. We've seen some testing on our channel where we've tested it against older golf balls and seen that big difference. So. I'm curious to see what happens here. We're going to kind of see it's what golfers played back in like 1998 or whatever with those irons and that golf ball against what players are playing today. Should see some big differences. So sand wedge, eight iron, five iron. Let's, let's get go. after it. Yeah, let's go. So Jackie, old combination versus new combination. Um, give me your thoughts on feel first. I mean, did you notice anything different in feel? I'm noticing your club speed was a little bit different. Yeah, I definitely can swing this one a little bit faster, mm -hmm. uh, or the newer one faster. Right. But, you know, graphite helps with that. Yeah. So that's obviously gonna be the case in every club we hit, if I had to guess. But, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you look across the board here and just, uh, you know, actually with my smash factor on the older clubs wasn't too bad. Not as far off as I thought. So 0.96 compared to mm -hmm. 0.92. But the SM8 has a little bit more loft. So uh, that's obviously going to factor in as well. But if you scroll to the right, you know, the spin rate is definitely much higher with the... Right. Estimate, right. which a newer club and that's how I mean the spin has increased I would imagine both ball and club well yeah on that wedge the grooves the, the grooves are different the mm -hmm. ball is designed to spin differently um, but yeah I mean overall very similar which is what's the loft on your wedge that wedge. 56 56 okay and then what was the the ISI 54 and, a half. 54 and a half so is that slight difference, but you wouldn't expect just based on loft alone this big of a difference in spin. No, that's a, that, right. that's definitely having a lot to do with the grooves yeah. of the club and also the ball. Okay, for sure. So I mean, that's good. I mean, I would imagine over twenty some years, we've you know golf has found ways to increase spin on wedge and golf ball, and we're seeing it with you know a sand wedge full shot here from Jackie, and also you hit the ball pretty darn straight with that SM8 and Pro V1 combination. Uh, in terms of the dispersion. So now we can kind of move up. We'll go to eight iron here. Okay. And we'll see how things are different there. I think that's as about as good as I'm going to hit this. That was pretty yeah. good. The 
I mean, I got to see this. Look at this. So <laughs> your ball, hold on, where was it? Ball speeds. Yeah, that's pretty good. Right, right around 84. Five swings, eight, eight iron ping ISI with the professional 90 golf ball. How did it feel impact? Because there was like no sound. It like didn't register in my brain that you had actually made impact until it hit the screen. So it was louder on the yeah, screen. I, yeah, the sound is what I noticed too. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Like literally just mute. Yeah. So uh, not sure if that's a ball or the club, but definitely noticeable in, you know, mm -hmm. and then that, re that respect anyways. But yeah, I... The spin. So spin at 5,000. I'm keeping track of that when you hit... You know, eight iron with your gamer now to see how that goes. Because I would imagine, you know, as I as we think about lofts and things over the years, I mean, eight, your eight iron loft is going to be much lower than the eight iron with this, with this set here. Yeah, I, I mean, to me, it, this looks like, you know, more of like a nine iron. Yeah. You know, at just a dress. So. Mm -hmm. um, so I would imagine with your club being a graphite shaft, you'll gain some, you'll gain some club speed. Yeah. And gain some distance. I'm curious on the spin then, because with the extra speed, maybe some more spin, but also the lower loft may bring that spin back down. So yeah, I would, I would, the speed's definitely going to go up. I can mm -hmm. guarantee that. And then with that, yeah, spin should go up. Um, and distance is probably going to go an extra 10 yards. So, oh, 10 yards. There's our prediction. Yep. Oh yeah, that one took off on you. Yeah, that's what I was wanting right there. All right, so eight iron testing complete, Jackie. Seeing some differences. Um, I was, I mean, I'm, I was kind of incorrect on the spin. Um, I also noticed these, the, both of these dispersion circles are similar. You said, what, 10 yards difference in distance? Yeah. And we got at least 10 yards. It was actually more than 10 yards. So. I noticed a difference also in sound. I mean, it was a lot louder sound. I would imagine this feel at impact was much different too. Yeah, it just feels like it's compressing more. Yeah. You know, at impact. Uh, but yeah, I hit, I only probably hit two of them actually how I wanted to okay. in that whole five series, even though the three were fine. But I mean, that's technology, you right. know, being able to use that center of gravity to help me out there, even on the miss hits is definitely gonna help me uh, mm -hmm. with that forgiveness. So, but yeah, you take a look and, you know, again, loft is a little bit different with the newer eight iron to the older mm -hmm. eight iron. So, you know, the launch angle on the older eight iron is gonna be higher than I, the dynamic right. loft's also gonna be higher, yep. um, which you can see as you go across, but you know, one of the things that I notice is just, if you look at height, you know, 75 feet versus 63. Yeah. Um, a lot of that's because I'm gaining more speed from the newer iron, right? Yeah. Um, gaining speed because it's lighter, right? Mm -hmm. I'm able to swing a little bit faster and launch that ball up a little bit higher. Uh, so the heights, yeah, I, I don't, I don't th think I expected 12 feet more of height. Um, just it's, cause it's certainly, I mean, it, yeah, I, I, it's, it's funny because like you said, the dynamic loft is lower and the launch angle is lower by yeah. about a degree. But because you had enough speed generated both probably, you know, a faster golf ball, faster club face, yeah. you're able to get the ball high enough yeah. where you're hitting it 12 feet higher and also spinning it 750 more RPM. Yeah. So I think that is somewhat to do with the club, obviously, but I, I think the ball has a significant factor in that. Yeah, I think I mean, that's that. kind of what we're, we're testing sort of both at the same time, yeah. where we're seeing that how that combination of what people played 20 years ago compares to that combination of what we're playing today, you know? And that's a big, I mean, that's eight yards of diff, well, actually 10 yards, 12 yards of carry distance, and then 11 yards of total distance on the eight iron. And then we also saw some differences in the wedge, more spin, for those players that need some control around the green. So now we can get the five iron here and then a longer iron test. I would imagine these differences we just saw would probably expand even more. Yep. Laser. Oh, oh. my word, you launched that one. 
That one was good. Holy smokes. You ruined your dispersion. I look know. At, look at that. Look at her dispersion before that last one. That no. was. It's better. Five irons. Um, one thing I notice is that your dispersion circle with a five iron is overlapping with the dispersion circle of the eight iron of your green mirror. So, like I, like I, I think just, it just shows how much more distance you're getting out of newer clubs nowadays. Yeah. That your five iron in an older, you know, the, the old combination is like not that much farther than the eight iron that in your bag. Right, because you see these, you know, they're probably five to ten yards on average. Actually, we can look at the numbers to sh show that, but you get ten yards of distance between five iron and eight iron. The old five iron, new eight iron. Just ten yards. Yeah. Um, but talk to me about feel on the five iron piece. Well, the first thing that I noticed with the five iron and the old one is like just very low, like launch. Even mm -hmm. though the loft, I, to me, it just felt like it was just like, I couldn't make contact. Was that, that was number one. Yeah. Like obviously not making center contact. I'm not going to be able to launch the ball as high as I probably would if I made center contact. Yeah. But a lot of that's just, I mean, the head just felt dead. Yeah. Like, I don't know how to explain well, that. Well, so like it's, it's funny because the loft on the old club should be much higher yeah. than your T200. Well, um, right. But... Launch angle is very similar. Yep. Spin actually pretty similar. Um, we go down to height, and you're actually hitting the new combination 10 feet higher in the air and similar dynamic loft. Yeah. So it could be a piece on center of gravity in there with how uh, over the years, especially nowadays, center of gravity has dropped so far in irons. Not necessarily the T200 as much, but like you'll see at T300, Game improvement irons like Taylor made Sim 2, um, you know, Callaway Maverick and Callaway kind of Apex DCB. Like these iron models, G425, really designed for game improvement and stability. That center of gravity is very low to induce that launch in the air. Yeah. And T200 is a similar, similarly built club, but I think it's still a significant point here that the center of gravity is much lower and that adds some, some launch and some height for you that actually lets you hit that club higher in the air despite having a lower loft in the older combination. Yeah, I think, you know, when you're talking about new versus old, I think you're going to, a lot of people see the differences in the, well, in every club. But yeah. I think the longer irons, you are you really see that difference. I mean, the five iron, you know, I, I get people in here all the time that are talking about, well, I used to be really good with my three and four and five iron. Well, then you take a look at these numbers and it's like, okay, even if you're making decent contact with it, you can't stop it to save your life. Right. And so that's, you're, you're yeah. hitting these irons in the greens and you can't stop it. You're not able to score right. as well. I mean, you were, you were hitting the, the five iron 49 feet in the air. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and it's rolling out how much, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. You know, 22 yeah. yards. So... And so I think one, you know, you get newer technology that has more forgiveness in the head on, especially on the longer irons, you're going to be more, you're going to see more success with that. But also like, you know, it's funny you were saying, well, five iron has to be one of your favorite clubs in the bag with how you're hitting it. I barely hit my five iron. You know, I, I, I mean, we should, I don't want to bring this up. We'll bring it up. Look at the dispersion. Your first four shots were these four. Um, you know, there were the, the, the kind of a direct line with the, the new, you know, your, your gamer combination, and then you launched one up there. But yeah, but how, how much am I rolling it out? Well, I, a lot, but not as much as you are with, you know, the, the old combination there. Yeah, so. and so I think this is where the new technology and, and hybrids come into play. Yeah. Because if I were to hit my five hybrid versus my five iron, that thing's going to launch 15 more feet in the air plus. Oh, yeah. It's going to spin more. I'm going to be able to control it. Right. So and at this time, I mean, hybrids weren't really a, no. really a huge popular thing 20 plus years ago. Yeah. So, you, I mean, everybody played five irons, four irons, three irons, potentially two irons yeah. in their bag. Um, now you never see a two iron or a three iron really in like 90% of golf bags. You, you barely see four irons. Right. I mean, just because the advantages of the technology changes, 
and being able to launch the ball higher. I mean, this mm-hmm. this is showcasing that. Yeah. I mean, my, and then we should talk about the golf ball too, because the golf yeah. ball is so much faster and it's going to be spinning a lot more um, in a way that helps golfers launch the ball into the air. Whereas a lot of times you do get that sort of knuckleball effect with these really old golf balls and then you kind of lose control of where it's going to go. So yeah. I mean, we can see the ball speed difference here. I mean, we're talking, what, eight miles an hour almost. Um, and like I said, the, the that's still with a, you know, the loft being, you know, stronger, but not that much stronger. Um, so there's, it, it's, it's just fascinating to see how much the technology has changed over 20 some years between golf ball and golf club. I would imagine ping ISI and the professional 90 was something that a lot of players played together yeah. in the late nineties. And those irons came out and the professional 90 was the ball of choice on, you know, professional tours. And so now, Today, Pro V1 is t- probably kind of taking that spot. Completely different golf ball, and then of course the irons that you're playing, T200 is completely different than the ISIs. Yeah, I think this showcases yeah two different things. You know, a lot of people that come in here and they got these exact clubs and yeah. they're wondering what's the advantage of getting new stuff. Well, this shows that. Mm-hmm. But then also, you know, oh, I used to hit, you know, this or that this far, and now they're losing distance because they're maybe losing swing speed. Yeah. And they need better technology to help with that, like maybe a graphite right. shaft to help. Mm-hmm. Uh, that that's going to help elevate their game and get that, you know, that, that yardage that they're looking for. I mean, mm-hmm. that's where this comes into play. I mean, you're, I'm definitely getting more club head speed from oh, newer yeah. technology, mm-hmm. uh, and that's not ball related at all. It's all just club related. So yeah. I think that's a huge advantage to the newer technology and, and what you can get out of it and all this different shaft makeups that we can do to help any player reach yeah. their ult- ultimate goal. So. Right. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a lot of variables that um, are different in this test. You know, shaft was not the same. Golf ball was changed. The clubs were changed. So it's not a perfect test necessarily, but it's just a difference in the performance you would get from what people played 20 plus years ago and what you can get now and of course, like you just touched on all the custom fitting capabilities that there are today that there was not also 20 years ago. Yeah. So with that, we encourage golfers to come in and get fit for, you know, the clubs that are relatively new in technology can help you with your performance, help you launch the ball higher and hit straighter shots as well and then lower your scores. So Jackie, thanks for hitting all the shots today. It's a lot of golf shots, a lot of straight golf shots and uh, showing us, you know, how things have changed over the years. Yeah, thanks for having me.